back up, baby, cause I need it again. Okay, so I know the school year is approaching very rapidly, but, and I know you guys want to get into the gym as much as possible during the school year. So, how you can get in here during the school year is what I'm gonna talk about today. And also just how you can benefit yourself through working out and how it can benefit you as well through your schedule and how you can, I guess, tailor your, your, your schedule to the gym without any stress at all. Let's go. I'm like, yeah, trying to come over for the night, yeah. Baby, let me know if it's all right, yeah. I was thinking I could bring a Sprite, yeah. And mix it with that vodka. I ain't got a car, yeah. I'ma pull up on you. Wake up every morning and I'm feeling like I saw you. You might have to sleep at night, baby. Let me put it on you. Just to make sure that you are, you know, killing yourself to your school, I guess, schoolwork goals. And just every other aspect you're pursuing. That way you can have the benefit of not stressing out of the gym and also just having a great workout in general. The first thing you need to realize is that you don't need to be working out like five, six, or even seven days a week to see progress. You can work out three or four days a week and still see some substantial gains. It's all about finding that time you can go into the gym and finding that time in your schedule to prioritize it. To prioritize it, but you're not going as far as you can do, let's say, 60 days a week, and doing three days a week, it's much easier to get in and to the gym and get in and get, and get working. Like, you don't have to be in here for like an hour, hour and a half. You can be in here for a half hour, 45 minutes. It's all based on your time, man. But, man, if you can probably prioritize a half hour, 45 minutes, three or four days a week, you'll be set. Trust me. But it's all about prioritizing it and working it toward your schedule. Now, of course, you can come in here about six, seven days a week, but it's all about your schedule, man. So if you think you can get in here five, six, seven days a week, then you can do that. So for me, I like to come at like one to two o'clock. So what I did is I had a morning class and a break and a night class. That would come in here at one, two, even three o'clock. So that's based on my schedule and how I cope with things. And I have all my classes kind of jam-packed in like two or three days. So that way, if I need to come to the gym or if I can't make it to the gym on those days, then I can easily come in on my off days where I don't have class. Now, my next tip is about high school, and you can manage time in the gym with going to high school classes. Quick tip for squatting. So, when you go down, you want to breathe in, then when you come up, I said really fast, like do it pretty dang fast. You want to have all that air compressing your chest released to help you get that weight up. Like the only reason why, well probably the reason why I got that last rep is because I had all that air and I was able to exhale it out while I'm coming up. That helps you push, I guess your belt, help you get that weight up more smoothly and even get it up more in general. <laughs> I think it is. That is good. All right, guys. So if you're in high school and you are trying to get to the gym, I recommend going right after school. Take a pre-workout, go to your car, sit that thing up, get to the gym, get your workout in that way. It's not that crowded. If you go at 2.45, 3 o'clock, it isn't that crowded. Also, you have focus, quiet, and all that stuff. But you also need to move your car. So take a granola bar, cliff bar, protein bar, whatever you have. In your car. But if you don't have a car, I recommend asking your parents or even taking your bike. In my first, in my beginning years of working out, I took my bike the first, I'd say, three or four months to my closest plan of fitness. It was about like a 20, 25 minute bike ride. This gave me the confidence to even get to the gym and get disciplined enough to get to the gym. Now, after I was done with my bike, I asked my parents, they did me for about three or four months. And then I got my own car, which then I could do it, go to the gym whenever I wanted to. If you have a car, not a car. My biggest tip is to go to the gym right after school. Now if you go at night, it'll be all sluggish, you know, not energized. You can, just, you can take a nap or you'll just be like all messed up. So get to the gym right after school and get your workout done right after school. Guarantee you will see some great, great results. <laughs> It's 
feeling him right now. I don't know why I'm wearing this right now. My, I guess, third tip for staying in shape when the sphere comes around is you want to pack healthy options or food. Don't go out and buy the school lunch food. Don't go out to the cafeteria and buy those unhealthy pizzas and unhealthy you know, burgers, whatever they have in there. I recommend packing some rice, chicken, and broccoli to the store. Prepare it beforehand. Dude, I prepare the food beforehand. That way it's like prepared and ready to take. That way it's not the door if in a hurry. They can easily prepare the food and go. But if you're in college, once again, have a healthy option. Like, don't go to the nearby restaurants unless it's like a really, I guess, good option. Make sure you pack your lunches and make homemade food so you are staying in shape and making sure you're keeping on track with your diet. I've been dreaming about your kiss since last night. Back up, baby, cause I need it again, again, again. Make a body move like a moose wings And an all black whip like I'm Bruce Wayne She like system of a down on some two chains I like taking off her clothes by the sunset Round four now we ain't even done it. I'm ready to get to you Anyways guys, that is all I got for tips. The rest of this video is going to be a vlog style type. Probably never like, I, I probably, right now it's about, let's see. Now it's about uh, 7.20. So I'll probably vlog for another like four hours and then the video will be, will be done. So, let's go. I set my first uh, college class tomorrow at 6 p.m. And then I don't start my English, my morning, my morning class till the 17th. So gonna be on the ground, boys. We're gonna figure out what's up. But in the meantime, we're out here in the rain, just chilling. And we're about to go into wake clips to get a haircut. So, let's go. Ooh, look at that. It's pouring now, but we need to, we're gonna hurry us up. But man, get that haircut, boys. Sideburns, all great stuff. It is pouring right now. Wake clips. If you like MVPs, but man, it is absolutely drenching right now. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Guys, haircut is successful. Right now, I'm gonna go back home now for make some food or get the food. We'll see. We guys a long rest of the night. Let's get. So, right now, I'm gonna try to see how busy the new gym is. See, you know, if it's actually if it's busy or not, depending on the location of it and also just the. Uh, how it is, because you know, sometimes I can't really make it in the day, so we gotta come at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., so we'll see. Right now it is about, let's see, almost 8 p.m., so we're gonna see how busy it is right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I kinda wanna see, because, you know, if I'm gonna come here at 8 p.m., I just wanna see how busy it is, right? if I can film here or not, so let's see it. So it's not too bad, only three people here for now. It's 8 p.m. I bet I'll this probably have like, what, like 15, 20 people right now? <laughs> Pretty sweet, but now we are now. Just gonna watch that real quick. Okay, but on to probably next task. I don't know what it is yet, but that's, this is exactly why I might go trust my did. Because right now it's raining all afternoon. And you know what, bro? I'm glad I got my drone trust my did. Because I wound up, I would not have any for this video. I got it like earlier today. I was like, you know what? I should probably get some drone shots before the rain was kicking because I was looking at the forecast and it said it was going to rain between 4 and 5 o'clock. I was like, no way. I haven't seen the radar, bro. There's just like these amount of rain clouds just coming north. So I decided to get those dope, beautiful drone shots earlier today. I've been dreaming about your kisses. Like these or late afternoon evening is I usually eat dinner, but crucially I have a protein shake. Cause usually, well not usually, but if I feel like I haven't gotten enough protein throughout the day, that helps me really just reassure myself that I got enough protein in. So that's something what I'm, I'm gonna do now. Ice up here, chocolate, as we know. That's what I've been drinking since like two years, bro. Two or three years. 
it's been around for a while. The first, the first ever protein I started taking was Premier Protein, actually no, Quest. Quest bars, and then first powder was Premier Protein Powder. I got Sam's Club. That flavor is fire, and it actually produces great, great re results too. So, if you're looking for a, a great protein, Premier Protein or Esopure for sure. stuff anyways guys i'm going to wrap this video up right right here if you enjoyed make sure to like comment share and subscribe if i brought you any value whatsoever with us staying in shape during the school year and beginning of the school year make sure to like and subscribe especially that but make sure to have a jaws of life swallow you do you think that I could get you back up, baby? Cause I need it again, again.